DRFC, your Donks Rovers fan channel, and welcome to a daily reports day, bringing you the latest news from Donks Rovers Football Club inside and out. Got a couple of stories today. One about Jason Lakilo and the, and about his uh, uh, contract and the the fresh terms that were offered, um, and sort of like a goodbye message, if you will, uh, from him from for, for the club. Uh, and also we've got something from the Coventry Telegraph, which says that Stevenson has been linked with a move uh, away from Colchester uh, to us. Now, of course, we can't take any truthness in that, in that or not for now. Uh, we don't know if this is true or not. This is what the Coventry Telegraph are reporting. Uh, but I want I will share my thoughts on this story. I don't believe it until he's official and holding up the shirt. But I am going to share my thoughts on Ben Stevenson and whether I would want him at the club if this was true. Uh, but before we get started, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, see the next of the video, and let's get straight into this one. So before we go on about the Lakilo story, we have to start with the Ben Stevenson story. And the Coventry Telegraph is reporting uh, that Stevenson has been linked with a move to Donks Drovers. Uh, of course, but as I said, we can't confirm that at this stage. This is what the Coventry Telegraph are reporting. Uh, now, of course, he made nearly 100 appearances for League 2 outfit Colchester. Uh, so a little bit about this guy, just to give you guys a bit of context about... Um, uh, who he is. So he's out of contract at current club Colchester. Um, he's one of the players that's said to be still awaiting discussions and or decisions regarding his future when the retained list was revealed. And the 24-year-old has appeared to announce departure on social media. He posted on Twitter, first game to my last, just wanted to say thank you to Colchester United and all the fans for the past three years. Thoroughly enjoyed my time and made some friends and memories for life. I wish nothing but the best for my club. Of course, he started his career at Coventry and made 48 appearances before before joining Wolves back in 2018, having spells out on loan at Colchester and Spanish side at Jamila before returning to Colchester in January 2019 on a permanent basis. Uh, now, um, like I said, of course, he's you know, Colchester releasing 11 senior players uh, at the end of the season, but not including Stevenson. Of course, the other ones were uh, Bohui, Brown, Coulter, Cohen Hall, Gambin, Harrier, Lapsley, Pell, Senior, Sawumi, and Wright. Of course, the new uh, head coach, Hayden Mullins, said at the time, there's not many we're retaining, and there's an exciting opportunity for some new players to come in. There's going to be a far bit of movement this year. Uh, so, obviously, you know, for Colchester, it's going to be getting the right targets in but obviously the Coventry Telegraph are reporting whether it is true or not that uh, there is a clear link according to them that there will be a move for, for Ben well there's a link between Ben Stevenson and Donkster Rovers now of course like I said we don't need to confirm if that's true or not we can't confirm if it's true or not because we don't know at this early stage but I have heard some Rovers fans saying he is a name that we're apparently interested in and the Coventry Telegraph is right um, but oh, they've heard it from Coventry Telegraph. So like I said, we can't confirm it at this stage, so don't believe this for a second at first. But let's go off the basis of if that was a name that we were linked with, truthfully. Would Ben Stevenson be a good signing for me? I mean, let, let, let's just look at this, you know, in the whole context. I've seen Rovers fans put on social media, he'd be a player that I would like to see at the club. I think with Colchester and how badly that season ended, of course, near, near towards the relegation zone, I think, to be honest, Ben Stevenson is probably the best in a bad bunch. And that's not being disrespectful to Colchester at all. This is just their season. I think their season was just a bad bunch, to be honest. And I think he was probably the better of one of, of, of the bad bunch, in my opinion. So, I think that, overall, you know, would Stevenson making the jump up to League One be a bad move? I wouldn't say that at all. I think he needs a club to find his potential again. I think that maybe we could be one of those clubs that could do that. Now, of course, there isn't any other clubs named to be linked with Ben Stevenson. It's only us at the moment, according to the Coventry Telegraph. Of course, other sources can report different things. But, like I said, I'm not believing this until he's officially holding up the Rovers shirt. But if, if this was true, if this was true, and uh, this was going to happen, would I like Ben Stevenson at this club? And the answer for me would be yes, because I think that he's uh, an up-and-coming midfielder. He's still got a lot to learn. Uh, he's, still, you know, he's approaching the prime years in a few years, so I think that he'll definitely be an asset to the midfield position. Of course, we do need midfielders. With, with Ben Close coming in, that's already a decent signing. Ben Stevenson, for me, can definitely compete for a first-team spot with, with Close, with Bostock, with any other players that we bring in the midfield. So, with Greaves as well, AJ Greaves, 
opportunities, of course, breakthrough talent from the academy, homegrown, you know, learning as he goes. So with Greaves coming through, with close sign, Bostock's still there, Williams is still there. If Stevenson's going to sign for us, I think that he'll break through and definitely challenge for a first-team spot. So I think it will be interesting. Uh, now, the second and final story coming out of today's video is all about... Um, Jason Lakilo, believing that Donksteroas were never serious about keeping him. Uh, so this is reported by the Free Press. Uh, Jason Lakilo feels like the fresh terms offered to him by Rovers showed his club were not serious about retaining his services. So the Belgian winger has seen his 18-month stay at the Keepmo come to an end after a contract offer with, when the club was withdrawn this week. Uh, the 23-year-old released a statement on social media thanking Rovers fans for their support, but also highlighting what he termed a really poor offer by, by the club. Uh, so on his social media he wrote yesterday I found that my time at Doncaster had now come to an end uh, most importantly I'd like to thank Do the club and especially the Doncaster fans for giving me the, my first opportunity in the EFL and for believing in me uh, all we wanted, all, all I wanted in the last 18 months was to perform for you to the best of my ability and help bring the club back to where it belongs in the championship where I did not start the season how I would have liked I felt towards the end I was beginning to close to get close to the levels and expect of myself that you deserve. I finished the season with only one goal in mind, to pick up where I left off with DRC at the end of the previous season. I was very disappointed to read fake news yesterday regarding me allegedly asking for too much money, when in fact my agents had not heard a word from the club in four weeks and never quoted a figure I was after. A really poor offer was made to my agent that I felt demonstrated the club had no real intention of keeping me, but yet we clearly indicated our intention to stay. Then without warning I was told the offer was being withdrawn without and in negotiation. Despite this, I'll not let any false information derail my thoughts and feelings towards the club or its fans in the slightest. I thank you again for allowing me to wear the Donks shirt with pride and hope that our paths will cross again. Best of luck for the season ahead. Thank you. Jason. So that is what Jason the Kilo had to say on the matter. Of course, he basically came out and said the offer that I was given, it felt like they weren't really serious in keeping me. Now, obviously, there is two sides to every story. On the one hand, um, you, you know, obviously he I mean, he's saying he wants to stay. His intention was to stay. Him and his agent's intention was to stay with Rovers. Uh, but they felt the offer were, looked like they didn't have really interest in keeping me. On the other hand, Doncaster may have put an offer in. And it may not have been seen as, as a serious level of interest. But on the other hand, Doncaster Rovers may want to sort of bring in new players to reaffirm their sort of uh promotion targets so but it's, it's, it's a weird situation I'm, I'm not gonna you know pick sides or anything like that on this one i think there's two sides to every story but i'm not gonna pick you know either side because i need to be biased on this one um so all i can say on this story is best of luck to jason the i mean fans if you have your own opinions on this story comment down below and don't be afraid to to speak what you have to say but in my personal opinion, I'm not going to say anything on this. I'm going to keep it biased. I'm going to keep it in the middle and just say, Jason Lakilo, thank you very, very much for your service. Uh, and best of luck wherever you go next season. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Aaron Chandler from Throw Football DRSC. Keep living the Rovers life. And that, my friends, is full time. Rovers till I die. Thank you very much. And that's it for another week. Rovers!